Hi, good morning. My name is Charlotte. If you're new here, hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. Today, I'll be giving you a summer morning routine. The last time I did one of these videos was the first week of January. So I feel like my mornings have definitely shifted a lot, especially now because it's summertime and I do summer camps. So I have to wake up a lot earlier and I've just been doing things differently and I think I enjoy this morning routine now than I did in January. But I'm gonna take you along, show you what I do in the morning. Honestly, I won't lie, this isn't like a daily routine. I try my best to do a lot of the same things, but I'm a type of person that really just doesn't like doing the same thing every single day. So a lot of the times I'll switch it up. But for the most part, in this video, everything that I'm showing you is stuff that I do do. So I really need to get up and get changed to go to the gym because I'm hitting glutes today and I really need to get that workout done because I have camp at 12 and it takes me about like an hour, an hour and a half to get through an entire workout. I don't know why, it just takes me a really long time because I take a lot of breaks. But besides the point, I need to get up and get dressed. I'm just being lazy right now and laying in bed. Let's get started. So the first thing that I have to do every single morning before I do anything else, well, okay, that's a lie. I have done some things, but I always have to do this no matter what, is make my bed. I normally have never been the big one to make my bed, especially as a kid, never made it. But something about this year has really shifted my mindset with a lot of things. And I started making my bed and honestly, it's been pretty good for everything. So I highly suggest you start making your bed because it absolutely is a game changer. And honestly, it really helps me not wanna get back into bed because I'm like, wow, my bed's so nice. Why would I wanna get back into it until bedtime? You see me? So that's the first thing on my list before anything else. The next thing that I want to accomplish is I want to write in my journal really fast. Just like a really quick, like what I'm grateful for. Sometimes I actually write journal prompts, but this morning I'm just feeling a, what am I grateful for this morning sort of thing. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then after that, I'm gonna head to the restroom, go to the bathroom, do my business, all that kind of fun stuff in there. And then we'll get ready to go to the gym. Honestly, I'm excited to get to the gym, but also I'm like, oh, I don't really want to go. Okay guys, so I'm in the car. Oh my gosh, it is so bright. It's 7.37. I'm gonna eat this granola bar. Normally I don't eat before my workouts. Like I just am not someone who eats before going because it just makes me sick, but I'm pretty hungry right now. So I'm gonna eat this. And then I'm also gonna do some pre-workout. I haven't done pre-workout in a really long time. So hopefully it works today. If it doesn't, I just need to get a new pre-workout, honestly. But I'm gonna eat this, do my workout. So just put my pre-workout in. And while I'm at the gym, normally I'm in two different moods. Either I listen to a podcast, which I'm kind of in the mood to do today, or I listen to EDM because that's literally the only genre that I listen to. And it really depends. Sometimes I do like bass house and sometimes I do hard style. And sometimes I just want to listen to sad music. So sometimes I do sad EDM. So, but I'm gonna drink this, head to the gym because I'm procrastinating at this point. that I am done with my daily movement. It is 9.18 
and I was at the gym for two hours, didn't really do the full workout. I decided to walk on the treadmill for a mile at some point because I just wasn't feeling it. But I got it done, I got my movement in, and I'm feeling really good. Honestly, last week was really weird for me. I couldn't go to the gym for like two days and I didn't go to the gym yesterday because yesterday was supposed to be my rest day. But coming into the gym today, like I feel so much better. I feel very calm in the head. I feel good, honestly, I feel really good. So now that that's all done though, I'm gonna go home and make some breakfast because I'm so hungry. Avocado toast sounds really good right now, but I don't think I have avocados. So we're just gonna go home and see what I do have. And then I'm gonna drink water and take a shower because I'm stinky. So I'm having two eggs and I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. eating breakfast. It was really good. Um, very filling. Now I'm gonna go hop in the shower, wash my body. I think I'm gonna wash my hair too. Like my hair feels semi-clean but also a little sweaty so maybe I'll wash it. Also I look like I have a mullet but maybe it's just me but I'm getting like also I don't understand why my hair is like curling to the side. Don't get that, but I'm gonna go take that shower now because it's like 10.30 and I really need to take it before I go to work because I leave for work in about an hour, so. I'm done with my shower now and I'm just going to do some stuff really quickly. First thing I'm gonna do is my hair. Normally, before I got these stuff, I wouldn't put anything into my hair, but now I leave the It's a 10 um, Miracle leave-in product. I'm just spray that. And then currently, because I'm about to run out of that stuff, I'm using the Good Stuff. It's an intensive nourishment cream. It's really good for dry and dull hair, which my hair has, well, before um, I shaved it, it was very dry and dull. But now that I shaved it, it's a little bit better. But with this kind of stuff, it's vegan. It's good for strength, moisture, and protection. So I just put a little bit of it onto my fingers because again I don't have that much hair. I just rub it into my hands and then I just use my fingers and comb it through my hair. It definitely helps my hair a lot. It does dry a little weird. Like it kind of feels like sometimes I have what's it called? Hairspray in my hair. But once you like move your hair a little bit the feeling of it goes away, so, or maybe it's because I use too much, I don't know. Maybe that's why, but I'm just running it through my hair. Next thing that I'm gonna do is put sunscreen on. Sunscreen is so, so, so important. I, again, I used to never put sunscreen on, but I don't know what happened with this year, but I've been doing so many new things that I normally haven't done before. But sunscreen on your face is very important. Even if you go out into the sun for like five minutes, your face is still getting the rays from the sun onto your face and we don't want to age we want to keep our skin safe wrinkle free all that kind of fun stuff so i just use sun bum shake it up a little bit and put a little bit on my fingers and then just dab it onto my face i like to put it on my neck as well so rub it in Perfect. Some days I like to use 
these. One's like a tightening serum and another one's just like for moisture. But I just put that on my face and then we're good to go. I think since it's only 10.55, I'm gonna edit this video that I have right now because I did a majority of it last night. I really should have gone to bed earlier, but I was just so sucked into editing this video that I did most of it. But I think I'm just gonna go through it and add some music and anything else that I need to add into it. The vlog itself, oh my gosh. I didn't think it was gonna be this long, but the vlog's like 45 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy this 45 minute vlog that I have. It's a Sunday vlog, so you guys will see it rather soon but before i edit this video i need to take some meds every time at 11 o'clock i try to take it at 11 sometimes i take it a little bit later i take some medications birth control and antidepressants we love that so we're just gonna take these get that over with we love having to take antidepressants but you know what you gotta do what you gotta do to help yourself and if that means you gotta take medications you gotta take medications and that is a-okay Okie dokie guys, so I didn't even realize that it's 11.22 right now and that means I have to leave for work extremely soon. So this is the end of my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the absolute best and I can't wait to create more videos for you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!